Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about the tree structured data, okay, by using the class JTree. So this particular Java GUI class is used to display the tree, the tree structured data. Um, you know, for example, here, as you can see in my Eclipse editor, I have a tree here, okay? I have tutorial and down, I have um, GRE system and I have SRC and down here. So we are having a root and some um, node attached to that root. So that's what we're gonna create in this video. And we can do that actually using Java GUI class called JTree. So as I told you, a tree structured is made up of a root node at the top most, which is a parent of all the other nodes in the tree. So let's say for example, tutorial here is the root node and it is the parent of all the other node here. So this is really uh, structured like this. So you can also have a look at it if you're using Win Windows, uh, when you open your folder you know, on the left side, you will have tree structure of the various folders in your computer. Okay, so without further ado, let us start coding so that we will see what I mean by uh, what I just said a couple of seconds ago. My project is organized this way. I have the main class as usual, and uh, this line of code is used for creating the frame. And I have the my frame class extending J frame in the constructor here. I am defining the various attributes of my frame. And now let's say that you want to create a tree instance. So I told you before, you need to use a class, a specific class called JTree. And I'm going to call it my tree. I will instantiate that directly within JTree like this. I need to import the JTree class. So I'm having an error here because this particular constructor would need to, um, I'm having an error because I need to write new here. All right. And as usual, if we want to add this particular tree to frame, we will say this, that add my tree. Let me run this. Nothing is showing because we have not yet populated the tree. So how do you populate the tree? In the constructor of the J3 here, we can pass a array of objects that are going to be um, used as the various nodes of our tree, or we can use um, a predefined Java class called default mutable tree node and pass it to the J tree here. Okay, so we will take the second option and I will show you what I mean by that. So I will say default mutable tree node and I will say my courses new, this is default. Okay, copy like this. So new default mutable tree node in the brackets, I will pass the text and I will say my courses, then semicolon. So now I need to import this default mutable tree node class and that's it. So I'm going to add another line of code, just like this one. I will say the second one, I will say programming and the second one, I will say economics. So let me change the text programming my bad and this one will be economics like this so now how do you set the root node so you set the root node by passing either one of these you know tree node here in the j3 constructor so if i say my course is the root node what i will simply write in here i will say um let me write this in lowercase like this here so i'll pass my course my courses i called it as the root node so this is basically the root node let me see how this will show and then to the root node the my course is the root node. we need to add the um, children nodes to our root node. So I will say my courses that add programming. Then I will also add economics. So my courses that add economics. Let me run. This is not showing uh, because uh, let me set the bounds. If I say my tree that set bounds 25, 25, 200, 200, like this. Then run. Okay, so now you can see the tree showing. All right, so let me comment this first and explain to you what has happened here. So as I was saying, if you want to set the parent node or the root node, you have to pass either of these tree node inside the constructor here. So that's what we have done. I have chosen to use the my courses tree node as the root node and I have passed it. 
in the jetree. So now when I run, you can see my courses. So since this is the root node, I can choose to add some children nodes inside this my courses. And that's what I have done here by saying my courses that add programming, which is another tree node. And I have also added to my courses economics. And now when I run, so you can have the tree showing at this, my courses, programming, economics. What if we want to say that, okay, in the programming, we want to add some more tree nodes. Okay. So how should we do that? I will come down here and simply change this line of code and say Java, for example, and I'll say Java like this, Python and Python here. And the last one, I will say JavaScript and I'll set the text to Java script. So now if I want to add these three nodes to my um, programming tree node, all I will have to do is to say programming that add the first one was Java. The second one, I will add Python. And then the third one, I will add JavaScript. Yes. Yeah, so I'll say Python here and then JavaScript down here. Oh, my bad here. I need to put that in lowercase and then let me run. So now in programming, when you when you click on it here, you have something like a key. You click on it, going to expand itself and show you the children nodes it's having inside of it. Okay. So we have added the nodes in our programming node. We can say that we want to do the very same thing um, for economics. We want to add some pre nodes in economics. And if I say finance micro macro, and this will say finance micro economics and macro economics. Yes. And then if we want to add it to the economics, we simply say economics that add, let me say macro first, and I will simply copy and paste. So the second one, I will say macro and this one, I will say finance. That's it. So let me run. If I click here, now you can see micro macroeconomics, macroeconomics, finance, and all of that. So what if I, instead of adding finance to economics, I say that I want to add it to, um, let's say, for example, macro like this, run. So when I run, I open, I expand like this, and I can also expand macroeconomics. And there you can see finance. If I come up here, I can expand. So this is actually how you can structure your tree. So you need to know which one is the parent uh, tree node, which one is the root node, which one is the child and then based on that you can just add them but make sure that your your root node is added in the j3 constructor so guys that was it on how you can create a tree i have showed you how you can create a tree made up of a root tree node and uh parent nodes with uh, uh children nodes here you can add them and make a structure and hierarchical uh, structure as you want. So I hope um, this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.